Good morning and welcome to Fort Seller Elementary School. This is your principal, Mr. Lynn, and I hope that you had a wonderful Thursday yesterday. Today is Friday, uh, February 21st, 2020. We're back to day one. Now, before we kick off this wonderful day, I want to invite you, as I always do, to get yourself ready for today. This is a brand new day, and I hope that you'll make it count. But for us to really make today count, we have to just focus on today. We have to let go of the past, let go of the anxieties and the nervousness that might come with the future. Those emotions that you're bringing to school, they're real. I want you to sit with them later on as part of our Mindful Minute, but let's just get away from all of those reasons that are causing us to feel a particular way. And let's just begin by simply noticing our breath. And as we notice our breath, we will expand our awareness of what is around us, you know, not taking anything around us for granted and just focusing on today. And then we'll notice our body and then we'll notice our emotions and hopefully we'll come out of the mindful minute just ready for tackling today. Now, let's begin by simply noticing our body. Just notice how the planet Earth that we're on is pulling us down with that powerful force called gravity, creating weight. And then notice for a moment just how heavy you might feel. Not to make you feel bad, but simply to notice your body. And also notice, too, our surfaces that are holding us up. Notice where our weight meets those surfaces and hold us up. Now, I like to close my eyes. You don't have to. Let's go ahead and begin and take that first breath in and that first breath out. When you breathe in, pretend you are breathing in for the first time of your life and enjoy every bit and part of that breath in. The filling of your belly full of air and then that pause before you breathe out, allowing your shoulders to relax, allowing yourself a moment to simply notice what is around you. And speaking of noticing around you, let's begin with our sense of hearing. What do we hear, for instance? What are the loudest noises out there around us? And what are the quietest ones that our ears have to work really hard to notice? And if you've already forgotten, make sure to continue to anchor yourself in your breath. Also notice what you smell with your nose, what scents there are out there. What are the obvious ones and what are the ones you have to work hard to notice? Breathe in, breathe out. And finally, notice your skin and the sense of touch. What do you notice first? Perhaps it's the clothing, but what part of your clothing? What articles of clothing? For me, I, I notice the collar and my tie that is around my neck. What do you notice? It might not be the clothing, it may be simply an itch or it may be the air that is brushing against our skin. Remember, if your mind wanders off, gently and kindly bring your attention back to the anchor of your breathing. In and out. Now turn your spotlight back into your body. I want you to notice and take um, with gratitude, not for granted, but with gratitude what is, what is part of your body. It's beginning with your toes in your the lower part of your feet, the under part of your feet, your heels and your ankle, the lower part of your legs and both knees, how do they feel? Notice them. Your upper leg and your hips even, your waist, your lower back and your belly as it expands, breathing in that air and pauses before it exhales and shrinks back down. Notice your chest your upper back and your shoulders. And yes, you have arms, notice them. Notice your biceps, notice your elbows and your forearm and both wrists, palms of your hands, even your fingers. Notice your neck, notice your face, notice your head. Breathe in and breathe out. Finally, we're at that moment where we should take into account what feelings we might have. And believe it or not, there are moments in time where we may even be happy about some things and also sad about others. Let's not get too caught up in why we feel those emotions, but 
just notice them. Notice maybe enthusiasm or jealousy or anger or frustration or joy and, you know, happiness. What are you bringing to school today? All those uh, difficult, challenging emotions that may not be comfortable to sit with, I want, you to, I want to challenge you to open the doors and invite them in. Sit with them, as uncomfortable as those feelings may be. And most feelings are just telling you something. And the more we push them away, the more they push back at you. So let them in. In due time, they'll, they'll go away after they've told you what they need to tell you. Now, in a moment, you'll hear a bell or a chime. Listen to it as it gets quieter and quieter, and when you can't hear it anymore, you can then open your eyes and awaken to the world that is around you. Welcome to a new day right here at the fort where you are loved, where you are cared for, and where we want you to succeed. Now whether you have a great day or not, that's ultimately your choice. So choose wisely, work at it, and yes, enjoy the rewards. At this moment, please stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you once again for joining me in the Mindful Minute. I hope that it has helped you get yourself focused for today so that we can make today count, as I said earlier. Now, being ready is one of our three Bs. The other two Bs are, number one, be respectful to yourself and for others, and also being responsible with your body, your body parts, the words that come out of your mouth, and also being responsible and taking care of others. Also, responsibility is also taking care of your stuff and, and also the, the, the tasks and the activities your teachers are asking you to do. Now, finally, I want to remind you, today is February 21st, 2020. You're going to live forever and ever and ever, but you'll never have today back again. So as I said in the beginning, let's make today unique. Let's make today count. Let's make it worth something. Let's make it... One of those days where when we look back at it tonight, we'll say, today was definitely one of those good days, or at least a memorable one. So I can't wait to see you guys around. Have a wonderful, wonderful Friday.